I don't know if those back tires are going to catch. Oh, you're going to bottom. Oh, you're going to bottom. No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, Chris. Get off of it. <laughs> I'm Chris. I'm Mandy. And we're going for a drive. Today we are driving our 2021 Ford Bronco. First edition. First edition is a 2.7 liter Ford EcoBoost engine. And it has 310 horsepower. And 400 foot pounds of torque. All right, we're on dirt. We're gonna start off with the throttle and we'll see what happens. Yep, not on dirt. We have to do it in four wheel drive if we're gonna do that. The 2.7 liter EcoBoost twin turbo that we've got in this vehicle is good for 17 miles per gallon in the city which is better than a Raptor, so we're gonna be happy about that. And I would imagine that we'd get over 20 on the highway, even with the four seven gears, but we're gonna find that out on our next trip. The first edition is set up with dual locking differentials, front and rear, and it has a 4.7 gear ratio. So we're gonna put it through its paces today and see what it can do. I like the shiny blue color. <laughs> All right, wheels. It's got 17 inch Ford beadlock capable, all black wheels. Goodyear Territory MT 31570s. These Wranglers, I haven't had a set of Goodyears on a truck in a long time, but these Wranglers look like they are going to be much, much more smooth on the road than our, uh, than our Raptor had. Our Raptor had ridge grapplers. And after a while, especially at high speeds, 65 or faster those ridge grapplers uh, had a lot of road noise i think the thing i like the most is the uh halo running lights on yeah, this bronco it yeah, just I agree. makes it i agree the halo running lights that's one of the reasons why i think the first edition was what we wanted to get there's a lot of reasons but we wanted the halo running lights and it does come as an option on i believe it was the outer banks uh maybe it was the badlands anyway the uh that's the signature of Bronco. They'll come out aftermarket, so you'll be able to get them for your Bronco. Probably not too long, uh, but I agree with you completely. That's that's an awesome feature. All right, we pulled off with County Road 315. Uh, it's not too bad. There's a lot of like little whoop in it. We jump this thing just a little bit. Hello, tree. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Do little digs to hazard. All right. So, what mode are we in right now? Uh, we're in normal mode right now. Oh my now. gosh, oh. oh, watch the snow. Woo. We got into some snow here. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Here we go. Okay. Whoa. Woo. 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 Wow, this motor has power. This motor has power. It is not lacking for power. I get the whole roller coaster thing going. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so we're taking it on some pretty fast four-wheel drive trails. And so far this independent suspension is awesome! <laughs> Man, compared to the Raptor and Which compared to love. the Jeep the Jeep YJ and compared to the uh, JK that we had this suspension is lights out better lights out it is so much more fun to drive whoa <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right too much fun
We're gonna do the stay bar disconnect. Oh yeah, I can totally feel a difference. Wow. Ooh, that's amazing. Fun little trail, I like this trail. Can we get out of this trail now? Here we go again. Woo! <laughs> We're going to go into Baja mode. I'll tell you what, the acceleration really surprises me. 400 foot-pounds of torque on dirt roads in four-wheel drive still spins the tires and it feels fast. And it feels more agile than the Raptor did. What do you think? Oh, I think it definitely is. And the Raptor, I thought, was the top dog. This whole automatic stop mode thing is like, we've never had a car that had automatic, where the, the engine shuts off every time you stop. And uh, it's disconcerting because it, it makes me feel like it's not gonna start one time. Well, isn't that hard on the starter? I would so think it would be. have to keep starting, what, 30 times a day? Yeah, I think <laughs> we're gonna go through on? a starter and, and before the warranty's over, I think we're gonna go through a starter. Maybe not. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Maybe not. Here we yep, go. Here we go, we're started back up again. <laughs> So the GOAT modes that we have gone through today have been normal, eco, slippery, mud and ruts, sand, Baja, rock crawl. And we did today, we did Baja and normal for the most part, back in too high. So when you're changing the modes, do you have to be stopped to change the modes? No, it depends on which one. Uh, for most of the modes you don't have to, but I imagine for rock crawl you do. You got to go into four low, which means you have gotcha. to stop and go into neutral. I want to talk about interior now. Okay, let's talk about interior. So, how do you like, first of all, what's your favorite interior <laughs> item here? Mine is the butt warmer. And let me tell you guys, these butt warmers get hot. Hot! They're hot. 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 They're so and hot the that my wheel. butt cannot <laughs> handle level three. My butt can only handle level one. Uh, now granted, it's not zero degrees yet, but I, it, these these they seats, hot. they transfer heat way better than the Raptor seats yeah, do. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so you will have no problem uh, staying warm. I almost think they get so hot that you can actually turn the heat off in the truck and just turn the, the uh, seats on and it would be like radiant heat in the truck. It would actually warm the truck. You could probably melt the ice on the windshield with the seat warmers. <laughs> That's how hot it is. I do like the heated oh, steering wheel as well. The heated that is awesome. I I I don't like it. I it like feels, it. It feels I know you do. Because my hands but are then, always cold. I, uh, I, I don't like it. I, I think it's uh I think it's weird having a hot steering wheel in a cold truck. But I can see where Mandy would like it. The seats are well padded, but they also are like they hug you, like they hold you. Like you should. Yeah, they are they are bolstered. Yes. They're not uh, bolstered as well as the Raptor. The Raptor seats are, I think, probably some of the best seats made in a truck. Uh, these seats are good, but they almost feel a little cheap to me. They feel a little like Jeep Wrangler-ish. I, I can see that. Say that. I can yeah, see they're kind of the the padding is not as good. They're not as soft. huggy and yeah. soft. Yeah. But then again, maybe we just need to break. Oh, break it up. Make a U-turn if possible. <laughs> Switch to four high, because we got stuck. Gulch. Okay, I got it. All right. Sound system. Sound system is okay yeah. at best. I do agree. I mean, it, it, it's okay. We've had better. Yeah, we've had better. I think it's better than the Raptors. Uh, I haven't really jammed it to my some of my favorite stuff like 80s glam metal. Even with the bass in the center and you have it all the way up, the panel shake. So you get a lot of reverb and panel shake in the sound. So that, that I don't like very much. Um, I think one of my favorite things about the interior is the phone charger. So it has one of those, uh, what is it called? It has Dog a wireless phone charger yeah. down here. The only problem is when you're off-roading with it, you can't. I can't keep my phone centered in the in the pad well enough to keep it charged. So Let's I'm gonna like have to. I'm gonna it. get a rubber pad and put it in there and see if uh, we can get it to. If I don't know if that rubber pad will actually keep it from 
charging. You know, maybe oh. I don't know. Well, I don't think but we're so. gonna try that and and uh, update you on that. Okay. So the oh crap handles in the interior are in weird places. Yeah. Uh, the one down at the base Passenger over side. by the shifter uh, is not a natural area. And in all the Jeeps and trucks that I've had, the oh crap handles have been in the very top of the uh, A pillar. Right. Uh, so I'm used to grabbing up there. And there was a couple of times on this trail where I went to go grab it and I punched the A pillar. So I need to learn to grab straight forward on the uh, onto the dash for the oh crap handles. So let's talk about the window switches. The window switches in the middle are in a they're in a weird spot we've had vehicles that have had window switches in the middle but they're upside down and once we get used to them it'll actually probably be better than the ones that we're used to uh, but it is a little bit weird we have to keep looking at the door three times right now until we get used to it especially when you go through a drive through yeah all right after a long day wheeling we're gonna pull something out of the tool bag we're gonna do a little bit of relaxing. Come on over. Oh. All right, well, I think it's Mandy's turn to drive and this makes her very nervous, doesn't it? Not at all. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, so what do I do if someone does come? <laughs> Don't worry about it all. This is like one lane. I'll help you. Yeah, we are on a road that is uh, too narrow probably to have somebody pass without backing up. And that's what my biggest fear is. It's okay. Coming we'll... up across another vehicle because this whole road is like that. It's not a short spot. No. Yeah, I know. This really does drive nice. Man. It's stable, which I really, really appreciate. Wow. And now I'm hitting the snow and it's very corner there we go Ooh, all right give it give it give it get it get it get it get it get it get it oh <laughs> god man. give it all right so what do you like better me driving or you uh i like driving but i'll be honest with you this is kind of like when we take the kids skiing for the first time and i get to see their faces light up and <laughs> those kinds of things taking you yeah. four-wheeling uh is kind of the same feeling i like it when you uh experience new things so Mandy, what do you think about how it handles? I think it's about as stable as you can get in a vehicle. I am not kidding you. And I Mandy, mean, Mandy had a JK for a lot of years before we gave it to our youngest daughter, or gave it to her oldest before daughter. we gave it to her <laughs> before we that. gave it to our oldest daughter. But this is—it's not even close. It's not even doesn't it's not even in the same ballpark as close as the JK. So if you notice, we have the hard top off today. And this was the first time that we've actually taken the entire hardtop off. It was easier than expected. And the back portion of the... Woo! <laughs> that is awesome. Manny's right. having too much fun to really care about the <laughs> hardtop conversation. The back of the hardtop was a lot lighter weight than the JK's top is just due to the fact that it has it doesn't have the front plastics on it. Uh, it did take us engineering a way to get it off because I have two bad shoulders and Mandy is uh, five foot zero. So, uh, but we got it off and we didn't damage anything. So, and I'll, I'll tell you, the, having this thing, this top off makes, makes it today. So we just had a scare, Mandy had a scare. We had another vehicle come on us pretty fast on this road and the brakes work great. Yes. The mouth does not work great though because <laughs> it, we have to we had to edit that part out. It was not good. Well, so what do you think about driving the Bronco off-road? Oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Yeah, we were having a blast. It was a good day. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, beautiful day. So it's like 65 degrees in the front range and uh it's gonna snow in a couple of days, so this is really the last time we can get it out before the snow hits. Okay, you ready? Yuri and Jacob visor test. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, two three. three. Yes. yes. One, two, three. Pass. Pass. All right. We are 20 miles back in the backcountry on County Road 412, and I wanna see if this navigation can get us back to the house because our, our raptor would not of course it's 2013 technology so let's try it unable to avoid four by four roads 
Hey, look at that. It's got a little dotted line there for 4x4 four four road. Yeah, so there you go. So that, that dotted line is a, is designated for 4x4 four four roads. And then we'll get to a solid road up at the in the end there. All right, overall impressions. Was it worth it? I think it's a smooth ride. And for me to be able to drive in snow and some of the off-road here, which I normally don't do, it was very stable. I, I appreciate that. I agree. I think that I have never been so confident in a truck uh, without knowing it at all. I don't know this thing where all the knobs are for the most part. And driving this road that we drive all the time in Raptors, Jeep JKs, and various other vehicles, this truck makes it feel way more comfortable. I think that the money spent, regardless of whether you're going to a base or a well track, or even a first edition, if you have first edition, is well worth it. Oh my gosh, look at that view. <laughs> you know, we are blessed to live in Colorado. Just sitting here looking at this front range view. And we are blessed to have a Bronco. Actually, we're blessed to have three Broncos. <laughs> Life is good in a Bronco. If you haven't already ordered one, order one now because it's worth every penny. I honestly was sweating the money being spent on a new car because we haven't had a new car. No. Um, since 1990. I don't know what we waited on. This is awesome. Let's I love go. it. Let's ride.